This is your boy Neil Obitella back with another live IG video. <clears throat> Title of this video is I am not going to hell for none of y'all. That's right. I am not going to hell for none of you niggas. I am not going to hell for none of you hoes. No. No. I came too far with God. To be turning back now. I've came too far. For the Lord. To be messing up. On my walk. Now nobody's perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. From my rap sheet. Nigga I am not perfect. You know what I'm saying. But the first step in walking with God. Is acceptance. Of your flaws. And that's very hard. For the narcissist to do. It's so hard for the nigga. It's so self-indulgent about themselves. Everything is about themselves. Everything is about you. The whole world revolves around you. You feel that everything else comes second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on and so forth. But you never put God first in your life. Why? Because you're you're in first place. See, anybody that puts themselves first is a red flag. Now, why would you think I say that? They tell you in a society, love yourself. Always love yourself. Yeah, true. I get that. But the type of love that we have in this world is perverted. Look at our society. Look at our social media. Everything that people put on their posts is so toxic. You know, even if you try to put out something spiritual, it's still perverted. In some form, shape, and fashion. This is why God tell you to be separate and set apart. I just had a little experience today, not too long ago. You know, I was coming home. I kind of felt tired. Something in my spirit said, Neil, start clapping your hands and praising God. Just start praising and worshiping God. And I started singing whatever song came to my heart. I started clapping <clears throat> and praising God. And... Once I started doing that, them demons got tight. Now, that's a that's a spiritual technique right there. And I was just wondering why Christian people do that. Why people used to get upset about that. But now I understand. It's spiritual. When you start to praise and worship God, it, it breaks up the atmosphere of any demonic interference. Because I started feeling tired when I started coming into my house. And I noticed that all the time. Like sometimes I'll come home, I'll start feeling tired right away. It's like something in the atmosphere that's trying to put me to sleep. And one way to break that is just getting in praise. Getting on your knees, praying to God. Start clapping your hands. Just thanking God for the day. Thanking God that he got you through the day. Say, yo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for getting me through the day. Thank you, Father. I give you, I give you shouts. I give you praise. I honor your name. Thank you, Father God, for getting me home today. Thank you, Father God, for getting me home safe today. How many people have not got home safe today? Thank you, Father God, for giving me life in my body. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here right now. So with the breath that you're giving me in my body, that's in this body, I'm going to praise your name. Hallelujah. That's what you got to do. Man, I was speaking in tongues fluently. I don't even know what I was saying. Just, it was just coming up like... Like a, like a water, a spring of water. You know what I'm saying? Fluently speaking in tongues. And you just got a lot of spirit to take over. See? You're so accustomed to being so self-servient that you treat God like he's your servant and he's not your servant. When they say accept Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, as your personal Lord and Savior, what does it mean to be Lord. Lord means master. So when you accept Jesus Christ, he is now your master. The life that you now live is in Christ. You don't live for yourself no more. That's why a lot of people who accept Jesus Christ, they become lukewarm. Because they still think that, okay, I accept Jesus Christ. That's all I got to do. So once I accept Jesus Christ, I'm saved. I don't got to worry about that. I could go back into the world and I got this safeguard in my life. That protects me from all harm. And I got Jesus. Because I got the spirit now. But I can still live worldly. 
That's dangerous. That is so dangerous. You understand? So, because I used to do that. I used to abuse the grace. Abuse the mercy. Every time that I get in some shit with some sister, especially when I was fornicating in the world, I would pray to God and everything would go right. But that's like Samson, every time he has sex with these scandalous women, every time he has sex with Delilah, he'll get up and fight the Philistines until he told his secret one day and he grows up and he and then he lost the power. That's going to be a lot of you lukewarm Christians in the society. A lot of you lukewarm believers. One day, you're going to keep sitting and God ain't going to be with you anymore. His spirit going to depart from you and you're not going to know when his spirit depart from you. It's better to be obedient than to give sacrifice. Because God already gave the sacrifice. He gave his only begotten son. Right? There will be no other sacrifices. Because when they was doing sacrifices in the Old Testament, it would never amount to the sacrifice that God did on the cross for your life. Ever. That's why when you try to practice the, 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 the commandments in the Bible, saying, oh, you got to go back to the law. We got to practice the law. All you niggas is lawless. But, nigga, you're doing it off of flesh. You're doing it off of flesh. And you should be doing it by the grace. If you truly want to live the law, then you got to live it by the spirit. The spirit got to move you to live that way. Because think about it. Just because you're born again doesn't mean your flesh is 100% dead. You are born again in the spirit. But you still got to crucify your flesh daily. It says you'll be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So... You could say you are Hebrew Israelite. You could say, oh man, we the, we the chosen ones. But you still think carnal minded. I listen to some of you niggas who talk about y'all Hebrew Israelites. Y'all still think from a carnal perspective. Sin is sin. Y'all try to justify what sin is more important than the other. Listen, at the end of the day, God said, I'm coming back for church without spot and wrinkle. I'm not going to hell for none of y'all. Keeping it real. I am not going to hold for none of you. Family, friends, I don't care if y'all watching this. I'm keeping it real with you. I love you like a brother. I love you like a son. I love you like a friend. I love you maybe like a lover because I probably, probably one of my lovers is watching this. You may not have sex with if y'all watching this. Yeah, I had loved you at one time like a lover, but I am not going to hell for you. I have ready... Put out the message that I turned my life to God. I already put out that message that, yo, you should get God too. But the thing about it, a lot of you motherfuckers are parasites. A narcissist is a parasite. Y'all niggas will ride off the coattails of other people's grace that God given them. God want relationship with every single one of us. He doesn't want just relationship with me and then everybody else is in the dark. He wants individual relationship. This is why he knocks on the door of your heart. But you never let him in. Because you're already, you're already consumed with the lust of the world. The pride of life. You feel me? Say you're too prideful and haughty, man. And that's your undoing. I'm keeping it real with y'all. So y'all are parasitical, toxic ass niggas. It's always about you. If God is in your life, what is God doing for me? If God didn't do something in your life, oh, God ain't do shit for me. Am I right or wrong? When God don't give you what you want, you go right back to the world because that's how you know how to get it. Oh, God ain't give me my job, so I got to go out and get it the way I get it. Oh, God didn't give me a husband. You know what? I'm going to go out here and fuck the rest of these niggas. Oh, God didn't give me a wife. Oh, man, I'm going to go back to the streets and get me a thot. Am I right or wrong? You don't have patience. I know this because I used to do with that shit. I used to say, oh God, I'm praying for a wife. All right. A month passed. Try to do it fast. I ain't seen no results. I go right back to what I know. Fucking these hoes to sleep. That's what I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at some point, God gets tired. He's like, yo, I'm not going to be merciful like I was. Because this time, this is a different season. The season of grace is running thin. 
Let me explain this to you, brothers and sisters. The season of grace in your life is running thin. We in quarantine now. Notice, niggas is not working like how they used to. Even if the stores is opening, gyms are opening back, society's gradually coming back, but it's never going to be the same. It's a transition into the new world order. Your grace is not going to be with God anymore. Your grace is running out. If you go back to the story with the five silly virgins with the oils in a lamp, that represents your grace. And if you don't keep your oils filled up, other people are going to try to take that oil from you. Why do you think niggas be hating on you when you turn your life to Christ? Because they see you got grace in your life. They don't understand what it is. That's why God said you be the light on to the world. So when your family see you, they see you like, oh, you think you better than us. It's not that I think I'm better than you. Because I'm still a nigga that shit, piss, sleep, and eat, and fuck. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you feel that I'm better than you. Because you sense something on the inside that you can't comprehend. And you can get it too, but you don't want to put in the work. You can get it too, but you don't want to put in this work. Because you a lazy ass nigga. You a lazy ass bitch. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Y'all don't. Y'all want to leech off of other people's blessings instead of getting your own. Get your own oil. Don't come after my nigga, cause I only got enough for me. I've helped a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all niggas who's watching this video, I helped a lot of y'all. I don't need to brag about that cause I take no credit for that. That's by the grace of the most high. But I've helped a lot of y'all niggas. Y'all ungrateful ass niggas. Y'all, 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 I, I could do a million things. I could do a million things for y'all. But the minute I can't help you niggas, you are bitter, hurt. Vindictive ass niggas. Man, I tell you no. Oh, it's the end of the world. If I say yo, I, I correct you on something. Y'all like, oh, you can't talk to me unless you're giving me money. You can't say this to me unless you unless you're bringing help in my life. When I've been helping you all time in your life. Every time you call me about a problem, I was always there to listen. Every time you call me on the phone about your motherfucking problems, I was always there to listen. And the minute that I can't do it for you anymore, I am now the enemy. See how narcissistic that is? Because you're too full of yourself instead of being full of God. Instead of being full of the Holy Spirit. You're full of the world. You're full of dead man bones. You clean out the outside of your cup, but the inside of your cup is dead man bones. Y'all are dead on the inside. This is why you got to use drugs. This is why you got to have sex all the time. You know how many sex partners you have? You feel empty on the inside. You know how I know that shit? Because I was a nigga that was fucking mad hoes. And guess what? I ain't feel a goddamn thing. I'm keeping it real. I ain't feel shit. Feel what I'm saying? When I was having sex with these women, I was stacking bodies upon bodies upon bodies. But at the same time, bro, I was feeling empty and void because it didn't bring any substance to my life. The only thing that brought substance to my life is when I got on my knees and I prayed to God at night. Real talk. And even when you mess around with women in the world and ladies vice versa, if you messing with a whole bunch of dudes in the world. It messes with your walk with God. He said, how could you eat at the table of the Lord and then eat at the table of devils? Choose this day which master you're going to serve. You're going to serve the world. You're going to serve the Lord. When you walk with the Lord, yes, he's going to put you through trials and tribulations. Yes, you're going to get persecuted. Yes, you're going to go through all of that. But your blessings are eternal, not external. You are accustomed to the external blessings. You are accustomed to external validation. You are accustomed to the external praise and worship. That's for your flesh. It's not for your inner man. It says faith comes by hearing the word. But faith is a neutral force. You can have faith in God and have no faith in the world. Or you can have faith in the world with no faith in God. It's where you're directing your faith at. It's not that you don't have faith. It's where you're redirecting your faith or where your faith is at. You understand? So it is what it is, my nigga. Y'all dudes out here simping hard for these women. 
They will never respect you because you don't have respect for yourself. Sister, the amount of times you give it up to a nigga, right? You'll never be wifey material in his eyes because in his eyes, he said, if you could give it up that easy, then how much other niggas have you done that with? If it's so easy to get, my nigga, do I really want that? Do I really want that? Feel what I'm saying? What's good, bro? Hit me up and send that send that link through so we could do a double double talk, nigga. Send that send that request through, bro. Y'all niggas gotta understand. Yeah, bro. Yo, send it if you wanna come online. Send that link through. Alright. I'm about to tell y'all niggas the new asshole now. See how I, I went on y'all niggas in the beginning. Tell you. Yo, what's good, bro? Hold on, let me flip the camera. Let me flip the camera. We have tables right over here. Yo. Are you see me? Yo, you can see me? My shit might be shaky. I'm out here in the city and shit. You can see me? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna I'm I'm come back, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back. Yo, oh shit, he got cut off. Everybody calling me at the same time. See, this is what I'm talking about. The devil's busy today. The devil's busy today, man. But without further ado, I'm going to end this video off real quick. I hope you brothers and sisters understand that I'm not going to hell for none of you. You understand? I'm going to walk this path all the way through. And with that being said, leave your comments in the comment section below. Catch you, brothers and sisters, in the next video. Peace.